Welcome back to House TV Live. I'm Rick Spence, and with me today is Nicole White from Nicole White Interiors in beautiful Miami, Florida. And she's invited us into her own home to share a couple of amazing spaces. You've been on House for over seven years, pretty much My from God. the beginning. You've won right. many service awards. Clearly, your clients love you and the service you're providing. So congratulations on that. Let's Thank talk you. about your spaces. So, you know, as designers, our spaces are usually the last ones to get done, right? But yep. I work from home and my team has always been eyeing this room and saying, why don't we move back there? And I'm like, no, it's my dining. We can't do it. It was a combined living and dining. But then over time, it just it just made sense. And I said, you know what? Why can't we why can't I dine and work? I'm very like I've always wanted that. I've always been, you know, it's, it's like a, a thing from Europe, right, where everyone sort of, it's okay to display what you do in your home and still entertain there. So when I crossed that hurdle, I said, okay, let's make the office. Let's make it a fabulous office, dining, lounge, multi-purpose, coffee station, wine bar. It's a lot happening in here. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, and I know so many people treat their dining rooms as sort of like, it's, it's, it's just empty, like nothing happening yes. in there. And if it's not close to the kitchen, it almost never yes. gets used. Listen, Ray, I cannot tell you how many projects we've done where clients had never in 20, 30 years outside of Thanksgiving. That was it. And so I have I have often I have eliminated plenty of dining rooms in homes and just made them a part of the kitchen. The dining room is not like this holy grail. It can you don't doesn't have to be a shrine if it's not working for you, if you're not using it every day to dine then make it a multi-purpose space. And that's what I did. I love, the first thing that caught my eye was the wood along the top, the wood treatment you did there. Tell me about that. I've been obsessed with wood paneling for the last two or three years. And so we've done it a couple of times on the walls only. And when we were doing my space, I said, hmm, what if, <laughs> right? <laughs> so as designers, you got to challenge yourself. I, you know, I, I'm using it a lot. I need something new to not be bored. And so we said, well, let's, wait, why don't we take it up the wall? and to the ceiling. And listen, my carpenter was not happy because the, <laughs> the angles to turn was mm -hmm. no easy feat, right? As you see, um, and there was some frustration, but he did it and it's become such a showstopper. We've gotten so much, you know, just love for that detail. Tell me about your um, lighting and how you balance sort of task lighting with something beautiful. So great question. We do have, it is still a dining table. So there are two pendant lights sitting over the table. There was also recess lights underneath the wood treatment. So I have secondary lighting there if I need it. But then I have amazing natural light from the curtains. So, so once the sun is up, I just open that up and I turn off both lights, actually. I don't even really need them. What is the flooring in there? So I have um, black um, bamboo. That's the first purchase I got for this house when I bought it years ago. I saw it on clearance, loved it, obsessed over it. It's not the easiest thing to maintain. And I've had an amazing cleaning lady, although she hasn't been able to come for a while because of this virus. But um, it's a stunning, it's black. And it's been, you know, it's gotten quite a lot of attention. And my son, you know, it's all kinds of dings from my kid. But I tell clients with wood floors, you got to accept that. Yeah. Like, I have so many blemishes on that floor that I just like, it's part of the charm. Absolutely. So if you're doing a multi-use space like this, yes. storage is important. Tell me how you tackle Stor the storage. Storage is important. And let me tell you, storage was the most costly part of this um, renovation of this process. Um, the built-in, you know, was not an easy one. There, I had a lot to accommodate. We have a lot of books, a lot of samples, um, two wine refrigerators, the coffee area. What are some of the key things people can take away of why this space works? So when you're mixing patterns, it's important to think, okay, what is my story here? What am I trying to say? And so we're going to work here. So I, we needed to have fun here. We needed to feel very creative in this space. My son is, is only eight years old. I needed him to feel like this was not a museum, like he could just hang out here. So for me, mixing patterns means I can have multiple, like there is there is an animal print on the curtains and there is an animal print on the floor, but there are different tones. One is a beige, one is a black and white, very stark. So for me, it's bringing them together with some continuity, lay it all out and then 
edit as you go along. Um, I had moments where I thought, hmm, should I do something else on it? Should I keep the curtain simple? But I'm not that girl. <laughs> I'm not that designer. So that died quickly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just wanted to be playful and dramatic and colorful and bold because that sort of sums me up. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does all those things. It's very inviting. It feels, you know, you want to be exactly. in that space. You want to enjoy yeah. it. The wood was the first thing. Though. I got to tell you, that thing just the wood has just, the wood needs a hashtag. Yes. Oh man, that's just <laughs> that's just amazing. Thank really you. beautiful. So that's a lovely space, and you have another little getaway space that you're calling I your do. mom cave in the home. Tell I me about the do. mom cave. We've done so many um, man caves over the years. You know, the, the guys always have their little space, and I've, I'm championing a space for the women. So whether you're a mom or you're not a mom, just get a little space in your home. So the sofa used to be my mom cave. Because the mom cave is a mentality, I tell folks. It's, you just need to let it be known that you need time you need a little zone in your home where your kids know to leave you alone. So my son would never t bother me when he saw me lying down on my sofa. He knew, like, she's in her little zone. Leave her be. And so getting a whole room has been a blessing. So this, I read. I read a lot. And I read, like, real books. I don't like audio books or any e-books. So the books needed to be front and center. And the, our old storage solution for the office became the book central space all the books that i've had in storage could finally have their moment so they came out of boxes and came out of wherever they were books that i am in uh there are a couple of design books i'm in so it's a good conversation room not just you no know, i escape there but when friends come over they all want to hang out there it's so it's moody it's like it's its own little vibe tell me about the artwork on that wall there oh my god the artwork another showstopper in that space so the largest piece on the wall I got in Cuba, I was in Cuba last summer mm -hmm. before the bands happened and you could not go to Cuba. So I looked out and got some great art there. The ones with the three women in the middle is from a, uh, an amazing artist out of New York, um, Melanie Bennett. And she's, she's, you know, she does sculptures, art. So I've, I try to support um, local artists. And then the, the rest is also from Cuba. My cousin went to Cuba before me many years ago and had gifted me those. So the art really just speaks. To, I tell people, get art that really speaks to you. And like when I'm in there, it's like I'm having conversations with these women. You know, they're, they're looking at me saying, how was your day? Or, <laughs> um, or giving me a little eye. So uh, it just feels like a, like, a, like a communal spirit to me, the artwork. Yeah, I think that really works. And you went for some bling with the lighting in there. I sure did. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, you know, it's a room for, uh, uh, you know, a drama queen. So I literally have a photo where I'm standing under that light and it's like a little bling crown. So um, the queen you know, I, is I in her room. It's in <laughs> yeah, room. I, say, I love it. I say have fun. The lighting Absolutely. was, we debated that light too, but in the end I was like, let's do the bling. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Nicole, for inviting us into your home. Two beautiful spaces. I think anyone would be so excited to have a mom cave like that, a work from home <laughs> space. I mean, it's just awesome. So thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Amazing thank work. You. All the projects making all those clients happy. And, thank you. Uh, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Awesome. Thanks, okay. Rick. Okay. Bye-bye.